Good morning, students. Yesterday we had discussed the summary, reference to the context, and explanation of stanza one of the poem "The Heart of the Tree," written by Henry Kyler Berner. And today we are going to discuss the next two stanzas. So get ready with your English literature books, Roots and Wings, and open it at page number thirty-five. Before starting the poem, I will again remind you to read your poem again and again, as regular reading will help you memorize the text. In the end of the poem, you will be able to explain meanings of difficult words as used in the poem, explain the poem in your own words, and you will be able to understand. how the poet tells about the importance of planting trees and benefits we gain from the trees now first of all note down these important words with their meanings and phrases of stanza 2 on your books tender means very long and gentle fade to lose freshness flush means sudden blossoming out heritage means tradition harvest means crop now let us see the phrases of days to be aane wale dino ka of a coming age aane wale samay ka now the figure of speech used here is alliteration it is the repetition of consonant sound for example fade and flush again here f of fade and f of flush is the repetition of consonant sound so it is alliteration let us see stanza 2 what does he plant who plants a tree he plants cool shade and tender rain tender means very long and gentle and seed and bud of days to be and years that fade and flush again fade means to lose freshness flush means sudden blossoming out the figure of speech used here is alliteration as f of fade and f of flush is the repetition of consonant sound he plants the forest's heritage heritage means tradition the harvest of a coming age harvest means crop the joy that unborn eyes shall see these things he plants who plants a tree Now let us see the explanation. In this stanza, the poet asks again, "What does he plant? Who plants a tree?" He then answers that the trees we plant provide us cool shade in the scorching heat of summer and the showers of rain. He says that tree produces seeds. and buds for future reproduction moreover today's single tree may turn into a forest some day which our future generation will be delighted to have now we will do the explanation with reference to context first we will write down the hint it should be written outside the margin line with the pencil and we will underline it now for writing down the hint we will write the first two words of first line of stanza 2 and the last two words of the last line of stanza 2 that is what does dash 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 a tree now we will write down the reference to context again it should be written outside the margin line just under the hint and we will write it with the pencil and we will underline it For writing the reference to context, we will write down the name of the poem, the name of the poet, and what does the poet wants to tell us. Now, 
These lines have been taken from the poem The Heart of the Tree written by Henry Cuyler Burnham. In this poem the poet writes about the need and the purpose of planting a tree. After this we will write down the explanation. Explanation will be written outside the margin line with the pencil and we will underline it and we will write down the explanation as discussed. Now note down the important words with their meanings and phrases of stanza 3. Sap the juices of plant loyalty means devotion far caste means not concerned about caste civic means connected with city or town hollow means an unfilled space stir means mixes now the phrases are in love of home ghar ke pyar mein of civic good jag ki bhalai ka from sea to sea samudra se samudra tak in his heart uske dil mein the figure of speech used in stanza 3 is assonance assonance as i have already told you is the repetition of vowel sound who in the hollow of his hand holds all the growth of all our land here all of hollow all and all is the repetition of vowel sound so it is assonance now let us see stanza 3 what does he plant who plants a tree he plants in sap and leaf a wood sap means the juices of plant in love of home and loyalty loyalty means devotion and far caste thought of civic good far caste means not concerned about caste civic means connected with city or town his blessings on the neighborhood who in the hollow of his hand hollow means an unfilled space holds all the growth of all our land now in these lines the figure of speech used is assonance as all of hollow all and all is the repetition of vowel sound a nation's growth from sea to sea stirs in his heart who plants a tree stirs means mixes now let us see the explanation in these lines the poet says that planting tree also means showing love and respect for our society now by planting a tree a man takes part in the nation building process the word his indicates that a man who plants a tree is just next to god now we will write down the explanation with reference to context of stanza 3 first we will write down the hint i have already guided you how to write it we will write it outside the margin line with the pencil and we will underline it now for writing down the hint we will write down the first two words of first line of stanza 3 and the last two words of the last line of stanza 3 that is what does dash 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 a tree now we will write down the reference to context I have already guided you how to write the reference to context. It should be written outside the margin line with the pencil and we will underline it. These lines have been taken from the poem The Heart of the Tree written by Henry Cuyler Burner. In this poem the poet writes about the need and purpose of planting a tree. 
Now we will write down the explanation. It should be written outside the margin line as I have already guided you with the pencil and we will underline it. Now write down the explanation as discussed. I hope you have understood the explanation of stanza 2 and stanza 3. Now plan the exercises of the poem The Heart of the Tree. Thank you.